Welcome back. You're still watching uh, Nile Cruise on Nile TV and from a very special place here in Cairo, from the Pharaonic Village, we bring you this amazing episode of Nile Cruise. Um, a team from Faculty of Tourism and Hotels uh, launched the Sendance of Egyptian Civilization Initiative. To, uh, the initiative aims at introducing people to ancient Egypt history and promoting the destination. And we are delighted uh, to host uh, in this context and to know more about this initiative, a team, of course, uh, and the most important of this team is a member who is Yusuf Mohammed, and we have the pleasure to host him today in our program. A very good day, Yusuf. Good afternoon. It's such a pleasure to be with you, to be with you today. Uh, thank you, and thank you for hosting me. It's our pleasure. Um, uh, Yusuf, could you tell us more about your beginnings and uh, how did you get this idea? How did you brainstorm? Okay, now we, now we are the standards of Egyptian civilization. Uh, the, the idea of the team was uh, maybe from maybe from year and a half ago. It was cre it was created by Muhammad Hamada, the founder of uh, the standards of Egyptian civilization. He is a theory at uh, at tourism and guidance department at Masra University. And the and the idea was and, I, and the idea began when he when he was in Gurgada and he and he met a Russian uh, gr uh, a group of Russian tourists at uh, Gurgada. He he heard them as they were talking about the curse of the pharaohs, and he knows Russian very well. So he so he went to uh, so he went to talk with them and he told them that there is no curse of the pharaohs and tried to try to to, to correct the misconception the misconception about this. And he met his friends, his colleagues at, uh, at the college, and tried to tell them about uh, the idea, the idea, and, th and they welcomed uh, the idea. And from here, had began uh, began the idea of the team. Um, uh, why did you um, name uh, the initiative uh, "Descendants of Egyptian Civilization" okay. team? The Egyptian kings and queens, the ancient Egyptians, are our. Uh, are our grandparents and our and we are their descendants, of course. They made a great history, and we are proud to be that to be the de grandsons or the descendants of them, uh, the descendants of them. So, uh, for our proud of this, we 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 think that the most special name for the for the for this team or for, or this uh, initiative is the Sand of Egyptian Civilization. Perfect. Uh, why? Uh, what? Why? What are the goals of the team? And uh, what have you achieved uh, till today? Our our goal, I think, it's most imp there's a lot of goals, but the most important goal of them was correcting the misconceptions about Egyptian civilization and the wrong meanings that uh, that many people have about about this great civilization, and make the a promotion of tourism, and of course. Uh, Correct misconceptions, as I said, that's the goal. What are the What are misconceptions from your own perspective and point uh, of view? There's a, there's a lot of misconceptions. You can say there's a lot. M you can say like people who say that uh, like that the king Ramesses, the great or Ramesses the second, is the pharaoh of Prophet Musa. That's wrong. People that say that there's a curse of the pharaohs. There is no curse of the pharaohs. It was that. It was just a. It, we can say it was just a joke and become a story. So. When mean people that got talking about it, they become a become a story. Everything so you know every day when you when you just tell someone I'm in uh, I'm in, I'm in archaeology college. Oh, there's a course of the fairs. Everybody says this. Okay, the course of the fairs, and we also we have um, people people say about ancient Egyptians. I take it for what I'm saying ancient Egyptians, not fairs. There's there's no relationship by f between pharaoh and ancient Egyptian kings and queens. That we are, that we proud of the center. There's no pharaohs. There's no curse of the pharaohs. There's not a name or title. Pharaoh Ramses the Great is not pharaoh or prophet Musa. That's wrong. So this this from the misconceptions that we are trying to we are trying to, we are trying to correct. What from your own point of view and your me? What are the what are the tools and the means that you stop this mis misconception and you verify to everyone in Egypt and around Egypt to the entire world that we have misconceptions that you mentioned? How do you ban this? Uh, first of all, first of all, we have created a Facebook page called Descendants of Egyptian Civilization, and we have tried uh, to do videos and articles from the members of the team to correct it. Maybe, of course, we can say uh, try to make promotion. When we go on a visit, we do a live video for this visit. When people say it, we do a video like, the videos like, uh, 
every month we see the video we say hey there is no curse of the pharaohs and we start talking about uh, let's for example uh, king tutankhamun there, we say that there is no curse or something for the tomb of tutankhamun as many people say when the, when the tomb was discovered from 100 years Okay, we transcribe this from the video. Yusuf, uh, you do this um, and you correct the misconceptions through social media. Facebook, yeah. everything that people think of are wrong, you correct through social media. Do you have any other means to correct this misconception? Uh, maybe, yes, yeah, of course. We have for, for our visits, um, for the episodes we, from the episodes and trans episodes we are talking about, uh, the archaeological articles which have been published in a lot of international and national newspapers. Yeah, that's uh, that's point. Well, that's also plus uh, plus uh, the social media because it because it plays a great role. Okay, what are the goals of the team, and what have you achieved till now? And what are the archaeological visits the team has organized uh, till today? There is a lot of archaeological visits, but how long have you been working on this? Um, from year and a half. A year and a half. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what are the archaeological um, sites that you have visited and worked on until today, and the achievements? Uh, let me t uh, please let me tell you some of the archaeological archaeological visits until twenty uh, until twenty twenty two. We have organized we have organized a visit to the Egyptian museum, maybe more than twenty visits to Egyptian museum, and an archaeological visit to Saqqara, the, the area of Saqqara, and uh, with a group of tour of tour guides and. Uh, and the different classes of people, like uh, we can say, uh, young and adults, to just to spread archaeological awareness and also uh, get them to know more about Saqqara, about and about all the archaeological area of Saqqara and every beautiful tomb and the pyramid, everything, everything there. And we have organized also a pyramid, uh, sorry, a visit with the pyramids of Giza. And of course, when we do pyramids of Giza, we are talking about the most ad people who love adventure. Like we are talking about uh, going going into the pyramid of King Khofu or King Cubes for pure adventures, we do this. Uh, National Museum of Egyptian Civilization for start. Uh, Saqqara, uh, lots of visits we can do. That's a lot of visits, and when we okay. uh, who do you take with you when you go to these visits? Uh, uh, we do a we do a post on our uh, page on Facebook that we hey that we announce that we are going uh, for example to Egyptian Museum. Okay, some of people say we want to go with you. Some maybe tour guys, maybe a uh, group of people. When tour you guys and yeah, um, a group of people when they want citizens, to go. Egyptian citizens, Egyptian citizens. Yeah. Do you have any tourists that uh, join you? In yeah, your, uh, some tourists join us, but I think it's certain Egyptian, Egyptian citizens until now go with us at this visit. Uh, when we and when 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 someone can come to this visit. Uh, we do a live video for the place of the visit. Maybe like Egyptian, we are going to the Egyptian museum. Okay, we do a live video for the people who didn't come with us. He, so he can so he can watch the live video. To f he feel from from the place he said like his home, maybe something like that. He feel like he, like he is with us in that visit. Perfect. Do you have any other branches in uh, other cities in, in of Egypt course, we other have, than Cairo? Uh, we have a lot of branches sir, from uh, every governorate in Egypt. Like we have a branch in uh, uh, in Benia Governorate, Alexandria, uh, Cairo, uh, Mansoura. And also governorates have branches in, and, we, uh, it, and it includes a, a great number, a great number of archaeological students. What is the most important activity that your team achieved uh, that you're very proud of? Uh, I think the most uh, thing I'm proud of, we did. Uh, we did a conference for teaching your little children uh, the ancient Egyptian writing, the hieroglyphic, in Masura Library. That was uh, we were celebrating twenty. Uh, we were celebrating two hundred years or since the since the Rashid stone was was discovered and revealed. And for and my celebrity, we did a my uh, celebrity. We have did a conference to just to teach little children about. Uh, hieroglyphic, and that's what I think I'm proud of by teaching children the, the ancient Egyptian the language before. That's the thing I'm proud of. The feedback, Yusuf, of these, um, of course, uh, activities and how do people react towards this? And do more people join you upon uh, all the activities you do? Of course, but um, every day, some every, every day, some people said uh, in class on Facebook, yes, do you do you made a uh, team? We want to join you. And some people say we do not want uh, 
you know, I tell you something, not just archaeological uh, visits. So people tell us, you, you are doing a good team, we want to join you, just to be a member of the team. So we did something, we every, every, every month, or two months, I think we open, open the door to every, anyone who wants to be a member, just to call us and we tell him what to do, and he joined our group and our page, and join our, our, our WhatsApp, every group we do, to just to be a member and try to join us in every, in every, in everything we do, like articles, we don't say like that. Perfect. What are the uh, symposiums and conferences that the team has already held? Uh, we had a lot of. Uh, we have oh, we have a lot of great things we did, like articles, videos, things like that. But I think that uh, I think that the most thing we did that visits the and now we are doing a book. We have the name name of the team, the Sanders of Egyptian Civilization, just to. Just turn that they tell the story of Egyptian civilization in an easier or a simple way. Um, what are you planning on doing in the uh, in the coming days as we are, uh, of course, approaching one of the most important um, conferences that Egypt has ever held um, throughout history, which is the COP27? What will be your role um, in this very important convention? We're trying to make our best to be. Uh, to, uh, to be on the track or to be on the way with COP27 that we are having in Charm Sheikh in Egypt uh, uh, this month. Uh, we'll try to make everything like, uh, not just visits by articles, to just to make awareness for the most important, uh, with the more importance of the, uh, the importance of this event and we are doing the videos and uh, archaeological articles. And I think that when people read it, you know that the importance so we can be, uh, can be on the way with them with this COP27, the most important event in Egypt. Will you or any of your team, Yusuf, be participating in the COP27? Uh, maybe. <laughs> I don't know until now. Maybe That's you did not uh, have any concrete... Uh, uh, yeah, of course, some people have, but uh, we know. We don't know everything, but of course we'll have this time. Luxor is holding celebrations to mark um, this occasion. Would you tell us more about uh, these celebrations, sir? We have a, we have a very important occasion. A, a really important event in the history of Egypt. Tomorrow we are celebrating a hundred years since the discovering of the tomb of the golden boy, boy golden king Tutankhamun. That this tomb was discovered in 4th November 1922. Uh, why we are celebrating it? It's a small tomb in, in small tomb, the tomb 62 in in Valley of the Kings Luxor. It contains 5,938 golden artifacts. It, it has a great effect on tourism. And of course, this occasion will have a great resource on uh, a great resource in Egypt and in tur Egyptian tourism uh, anyway. So we are, so and how we are doing this occasion on the team, uh, by articles, videos, and everything, but we are working and we are publishing a, new, a newspaper and, uh, and every social media, but like a post publishing, articles to like that about Tutankhamun, about the importance of that treasure. Perfect. Uh, okay. Uh, the Ministry of Antiquities and Tourism uh, launched a campaign on its website and uh, various social media platforms in celebration of this occasion, of course, 100 years, um, uh, uh, which you just mentioned. What is the significance and goals of this campaign and how do you view the role of social media in promoting our destination? The social media, social media plays an important role in, in this event. Because we are talking about, uh, we're not talking about an, an, an ordinary king. We're talking about Tutankhamun, or maybe you can say Tutankhamun. That's a real name. Tutankhamun has, is a great, is an important king. And this campaign on the on the page of the ministry, uh, it, it's its rule was trying to tell people everything about Tutankhamun every day since uh, since the beginning of October, as a bit of October, I think this year, like this year. They started every day just to put this artifact. Uh, for example, this is a garden chair, this is a garden mat, this is a garden coffin, and tell information about it. So we are trying to meet a celebrity for Tutankhamun. And by the way, uh, maybe after the day after tomorrow, Saturday, the 6th of November, uh, 5th of November, uh, there, were, there, there will be Tutankhamun opera written by Dr. Zahi Hawass. Yes, I was just going to ask you this. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yes, exactly. Complete, continue. It was, okay, it was, it will be played uh, in Hatshepsut Temple. And here I will stop because it's a big weight, resourcefulness and, 
And how do you you see it as a great impact? Of course, it's a great impact. Egyptian, in Egyptian tourism, of course, because it's played in Hatshepsut Temple, the most beautiful artifact of temple all over the world, now at Luxor, for, for Queen Hatshepsut. And we are saying, um, we, did say, we did say the name again, Opera of King Tutankhamun. Okay, how do you see the opera uh, contributing in the increase of the flow of tourists? It will have in a this great context, of course. It have a greater softness, of course, on Egyptian tourism, because if we are talking about uh, tourism, we do you remember? Do you remember sir, when you when they made the Sphinx Avenue uh, in from Karnak yes. to Luxor, yes, of course, to Luxor Temple, yes. in 25 November 2021? Of course, from from just from second day, 26 November, after the after the event by one day, it all tourists was in Egypt just to see how we do that Luxor Temple, uh, Luxor uh, Luxor subway, railway, and uh, uh, Luxor airports, airports of Egypt were, were complete of tourists. That's, that's what we want. And that's the goal of the event. Not just for tourism, it's the goal of the event is to publish uh, archaeological awareness for Egyptians and every in everyone in every television all over the world. Of course, a uh, member of uh, the, dest uh, the descendants of Egypt Civilization Initiative, uh, Mr. Yusuf uh, Mohammed, we thank you so much for joining us here on Nile Cruise uh, from a very special uh, you, place sir. here in Egypt, which is the Pharaonic Village. Okay. Hope you work on it on you in your own initiative. Thank yeah. you very much for joining us. Thank you very much for your informative. Uh, thank knowledge. you. Dear viewers, thank you. this was the segment of Nile Cruise. Stay tuned. We'll be back again to continue.